Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. 27 to the power of x equals 1 divided by x. And in this video, we'll be solving for the value of x. And so, what do you think would be the best way to solve this equation? Would it be taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation? Or something else, like uh, getting rid of the exponent of this uh, variable x right here on the left hand side of the equation? Alright, so let's do it this way. 27 to the power of x equals 1 divided by x. So right hand side is 1 over x and the exponent on the left hand side is x. If we uh, get rid of the exponent x on the left hand side, what are we going to do? So we have to raise the whole equation with the reciprocal of x. So that is raised to the power of 1 over x. So the equation now becomes 27 to the power of x raised to 1 over x equals right hand side 1 divided by x raised to power of 1 over x. So the left hand side the exponent is now cancelled. So this is now 27 equals right hand side if you notice the base is exactly the same as its exponent. So that is 1 over x raised to the power of 1 over x. On the right hand side, what can you say? Because uh, the base is now the same as this exponent. And the left hand side is 27. What would you think going to be the next step right here now then? Uh, if you, Because uh, take a look at the right hand side. There's a pattern over here. The base is the same as its exponent. So what are we going to do with 27? We're expressing this into exponential form then. Right? So, so make this... Uh, look the same way the base looking the same way as its exponent on the right hand side so we now express 27 in terms of exponential form so 27 is now written the same way as 3 cube since 3 cube is 27 so the right hand side remain the same 1 over x is 2 exponent 1 over x and now from here by comparison, we can tell the base is the same as its ex exponent. Likewise, on the right-hand side. The Here, we can tell now that 3 is equal to 1 over x. That is by direct comparison, right? So that is the base. And the exponent is the same as that exponent. 3 corresponds to 1 over x. And 3, the base, corresponds to 1 over x. The base on the right hand side. So, solving for the value of x, we cross multiply. Or we take the inverse of both sides. So this is now x is equal to one third. So that is our final answer. If we were to check our answer, so we, we need to substitute the value of x to the original equation. Alright, let's do that. And so now we're checking our answer and substituting the value of x one-thirds to the original equation 27 to the power of x equals 1 over x so let's find out so this is now 27 to the power of x is one-thirds equals 1 divided by x is over one-thirds now the left hand side can be written the same way as the 27 is transformed into exponential form that is 3 cubed raised to one third and equals right hand side 1 over one third is the same as 3. Since over here this is division 1 over one third transform into multiplication. This division bar becomes multiplication so that is 1 and this numerator right here can be written as 1 over 1 times uh, converting the uh, the division bar into multiplication that will become we're taking the uh, inverse or the reciprocal of the uh, denominator so this is now 3 over 1 so that is 3 over 1 so that is now 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 1 is 1 so that is 3 so that's what we got right there 3 and now let's go back to the to here on the left hand side 3 to the power of 3 times exponent of 1 thirds, this 3 now cancels right there. So this is now 
3 to the power of 1 equals 3. The right hand side. 3 is the same as 3 to the power of 1. So 3 is equal to 3. Alright, so we've just confirmed. The value of x is 1 third. Alright, so we have just confirmed our answer is correct. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you on the next video. Bye.